I'm blonde. Yes, I finally figured out the perfect blonde that dark skinned girls can rock. Pretty brown eyes. It's Ivy and today we're going to be talking about this amazing hair and also how to get this amazing color. This color was so easy and so cheap to do. So the hair we're using today is from Supernova Hair. This is their 613 Lace Front Wig. And when you first get the hair, it'll come in this box and inside this is what the wig will look like. Now I got my wig in 22 inches and it comes with a lace front. And it also comes with like tracks in the back. Now this wig is really full and it looks a little bit longer than 22 inches. I was overall very satisfied with the quality of the wig. The hair feels very, very nice. Sometimes when you get 613 wigs, the hair will have like this fake type of plastic feeling. But this hair feels amazing. It still has that realistic hair feeling. The hair still feels very healthy. But this wig came super, super light, so I was like, oh yes, this is gonna be perfect for the color I want to do. And also, the wig has a good amount of parting space. And what I really liked was that the hairline came very um, thinned out already. It wasn't very full and dense, so I knew it wouldn't be hard to customize. Okay, so the color I'm using is the Revlon Color Silk. The color is called Dark Ash Blonde. Now, you guys, I love this color so much and it's so cheap i think um one box costs 2.59 at your local like target or walmart target <laughs> but i ended up using three bottles for the entire wig and all you do is mix the developer and the color together and i painted that on my hair and i let it sit on my hair for about 45 minutes now i noticed the longer you leave the color on the darker the color will be so if you let it process for about 10 minutes, it won't be as dark. But if you let it process for about 30 to 40 minutes, you're going to get this nice, dark, ashy blonde. Whenever I'm wearing blonde hair, this will be the only color I use. Cause it so this is what the color looked like when I was done. And I was almost scared because I was like, wow, it kind of looks like it's too dark. But no, it's just the lighting in here. It's like the perfect blonde. I'm telling you, it's not yellow, it's not golden, it's so ashy. It's almost like it got a gray tint to it, but I mean most ash colors will, but it just looks so good against dark skin, really compliments dark skin. This hair is really, really nice quality. Um, to get it straight like this, because after you wash it, it does have a slight wave. I just used my blow dryer brush and kind of straightened it out. And then I went in with my flat iron and just kind of bumped it. Now I did cut it in some layers. I kind of wanted it to have that wrap look. It's so soft. It's affordable. It's not like shedding. It ain't doing none of that. Like this is a really, really good wig and it's nice and thick. I really like how it's not thin. As you guys can see, it's hair on this wig, okay? This is not one of those thin, skimpy wigs at all. So if you guys are interested in this wig from Supernova Hair, the links to everything will be below. If you're interested in this hair color, I will link it below. I am going to show you guys what it looks like in natural light because sometimes these studio lights can throw off the beautifulness of the hair. Okay, you guys, so that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to smash that like button, comment below, let me know how you like the hair, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.